back to my channel friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I actually didn't intend on doing another recipe video quite so soon, but yesterday I got this huge overwhelming craving for this side dish and I knew that I absolutely had to share it with you. It is for my bacon ranch no tato potato salad and you are going to love it. I know that it might be a little bit premature to be thinking about what you're going to have on your holiday menu this year or what you could possibly bring as a side dish to the holiday parties, but I promise you, you try this dish once and you're going to be hooked. Not only are you going to want to have it during the holidays, but it's something that you're going to want to make regularly all year long. It is really easy to make. It only requires a handful of ingredients. I can't wait to show you how simple this is and how delicious it is. I really hope that you give this recipe a try because regardless of whether you're on a ketogenic diet or a low carb diet, this might, I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this might actually replace your regular potato salad. Yeah, it is that, that good. I will go ahead and link the actual recipe to this side dish in the description box below. It will take you to my blog and you can print out the recipe and there'll also be pinnable images in case you want to put this on any of your Pinterest boards. All right, let's get started. All right, first things first. All you're gonna do is wanna gather your ingredients. You're gonna need a head of cauliflower, some mayonnaise, some bacon, some spices, some apple cider vinegar, and some celery. And really though, bacon and bacon fat, need I say more? The ingredients are so simple, but each bite is so jam-packed with flavor. Oh, I totally forgot to mention, this is completely dairy-free as well. So frying up the bacon is probably the most difficult part of this whole recipe. So yeah, really, how hard is frying up some bacon? I only used four slices in the actual recipe, and then I did another two slices of bacon for garnish. But hey, I would not be mad at you if you added even more bacon. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you get these extra, extra crispy. And really, who wouldn't get their bacon crispy? Who likes soggy bacon? All right, so then that leftover bacon grease, yeah, don't ever discard that. I keep this little jar next to my stove and anytime I'm making bacon, I always, always, always reserve the fat. Then anytime I am frying up some eggs or sauteing anything, or if I feel like a recipe could use a little hint of bacon in it, this is exactly what I would use to add that flavor in. As I mentioned in my dietary fat video, ghee is definitely my go-to liquid gold. Bacon fat is my other. It's really silly how easy this is. Grab a big bowl and just throw your mayonnaise in. For a little bite and some acidity, just some apple cider vinegar. Dump in all of your spices for the ranch seasoning. All I have here is salt, pepper, onion flakes, onion powder, parsley, and some dill. Friends, please stop buying those disgusting ranch packets at the store. Do you see how easy homemade is? Literally, that's all ranch seasoning is. And then a couple of tablespoons, or more if you like, of the bacon fat. I'm not even gonna lie right now, my mouth is literally watering. I'm honestly about to go into the fridge and have a few huge spoonfuls of this. All right, once you stir that mixture up, all you have to do is toss in your steamed cauliflower. I steamed mine in the Instant Pot for three minutes, but you can just do it on the regular stove as well. Just steam until it's fork tender, just like you would with potatoes. Toss in some finely chopped celery, and I also reserved the leaves for later on for garnish. Then just stir this mixture all up until it's pretty well combined. Then you're just gonna wanna toss in the chopped up bacon pieces and the reserved celery leaves. Give everything one final stir and this is basically ready to go. I know a lot of people would add mustard 
Personally, I think that mustard is absolutely disgusting, so I don't add it in here. But hey, if you like mustard, go to town. Feel free to add it. Then I just added those extra two pieces of crumbled up bacon and some green onion. I also added a few sprinkles of paprika just to make it nice and pretty. And yeah, that's about it. No tato bacon ranch potato salad. I told you, so easy, right? Give this one a try and you're gonna be hooked. I, I promise. Also, if you want me to continue to share more recipes, which I absolutely love doing, and the videos are really easy for me to do, so if that's the kind of content that you want me to share, then I, please, let me know. And be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss another video. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.